um, is Le Enigma. Um, I had a hard time with this. Um, just as a sort of a trigger warning, the, the poem is about death. Um, so I'm just gonna read it because I had a, had a hard time with it. The title is Bloodlines. Lives twisted in a strange truth. 86 bloodlines on the promenade de Iglesias, coating the road like licorice twigs melted on the sidewalk in the south of France. They call it July 14. We call it Bastille Day. Fatima stands with her hajib wrapping her cheeks in Amazigh or Berber woman far from her Moroccan village of mountain flowers and grasses. Poetry filling her days there. 11 years in Nice and she still does not know much about cars or trucks. Speaking only her native tongue, the language of family, a bloodline. Drawing the line on what is more important than understanding one's whereabouts. Like the meaning of her name, she would abstain from luxuries. But today, the children wanted to see fireworks on the promenade. She would indulge them this one time. When they finally found her angelic face lying there tucked under the bloody hajib, laying in the carnage line of bodies, they wailed. For she had been the one who carried the history of the family. She was the matriarch of their ancestral line. Ami, just 12, remembers from her hospital bed to tell her parents of the stranger who wiped the lines of blood off her face. Her father still prepares dinner each evening, setting the table with her plate. She had not survived that grisly day, another bloodline erased by fate. And Jean-Pierre Josemé was the last to die. No one knew who he was at first. His body mangled, unrecognized, unwrapped from the tire well of the white cargo truck. But yes, they came, his bloodline, his family. His daughter would settle in the hospital bed next to Jean-Pierre daily until he died one month after July 2016. What does all this say about Bastille Day? It is an enigma, a paradox of violence and celebration, blood shed since the French Revolution when the citizens lined the streets waving swords and charging to Bastille with bayonets igniting the start of a war. And now we sit, clinking glasses of Beaujolais to honor the bloodiest of wars. How we forget bloodlines lost in the haze of celebration. Mm -hmm.